Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial video on Color TV. Today I want to show you a simple trick that you can use in your StarCraft matches to improve your gameplay a little bit. And I want to give a shout out to Scarlet who told me about this trick a few days ago. It was actually here when they played the GSTL match. And also to Heaters and NACK, two members of Team Liquid. They both post on the website and they have been analyzing uh, this trick a bit in uh, one of their recent posts. It's something that has been around for quite some time. Back in the days we had the mouse wheel trick that you could use to spam especially infested Terrans and also snipes which was used against brute lords quite a bit. It was considered to be an unfair advantage and it was ban banned by a lot of tournaments but there is, been, there is a workaround that you can use these days and it's something that is already being used so it might not be something new to you but I want to show you anyways how you can use that to really spam out any ability in the game. It doesn't matter if you're talking about infested Terrans, if we are talking about snipes or even about warping in Yunus as a Protoss player, you can use it with any race and I want to show you today how that works. So in our first example we will use the Infestors and I'll show you how you would usually use your Infestor Terran. So if you press the T hotkey, which is the hotkey for the Infestor Terrans in this situation, you would then press Shift and then start clicking with your left mouse button to spam Infestor Terrans. And of course the faster you are, the more Infestor Terrans there will be. And you can see that this is like the normal speed that you usually have. Pro gamers are of course a lot faster, but that's how you would usually execute that press the hotkey for the infested Terrans, hold down your shift button and then use the left click and make sure that you get as many infested Terrans out there as you possibly can. So after I just showed you how you would usually use the infested Terrans, I wanted to jump quickly into how we can improve this a little bit, how we can use that skill a lot faster and this is by just double binding one of the hotkeys to make sure that we select the ability that we want to use and the left click at the same time. Keep in mind that for our demonstration here the Infested Terran hotkey is T and we are going now into the options menu, press options here, we go down to the bottom left hotkeys, we will select global right over here and then go to unit management. If you scroll down you will see the choose ability or AI targeting uh, selection and currently it's only bound to the left mouse button. So we are going to uh, add an alternate hotkey and we are going to use the same hotkey that our ability is currently assigned to which is in this scenario T. So we just save this and then we go back into the game and what we're going to do right now is we only hold down the T button and this will not only select the ability which is still hotkeyed to T as you can see but it will also trigger the left mouse button in this scenario and therefore the ability. So the only thing that we have to do is move our cursor, we don't have to click with the uh, left mouse button anymore and this looks exactly like this. <laughs> So as you can see this is a lot faster than uh, clicking with the left mouse button the entire time. It works really really well and immediately we have a ton of Infested Terrans out there. And as I mentioned earlier, this is something that does not only work with the Infested Terrans. I will give you a few additional examples what you could use it for. So as you can see, this time we are not looking at Infestors, but we are actually talking about the creep spread of the Zerg player. In this scenario, we have a quite a lot of active creep tumors on the map. So this is just an example, keep that in mind. If you want to try to improve your creep spread, one of the things that you could do is use the method that I showcased with the Infested Terrans earlier to spread your creep. And once again, what we have to do is we look up the hotkey to spread creep tumors, which is in this scenario, of course, C. We go again to options, all the way down to hotkeys, global, we go to unit management, scroll down and then we change the hotkey, the alternate hotkey to C which is the exact same hotkey as the creep tumor. So the choose ability or AI target is now the left mouse button and C. Usually you would just use the left mouse button to activate it but if you double hotkey one of your abilities once as a selection for the ability itself and then for the choose ability hotkey you can combine the both of them. So what happens right now is I only hold down the C button I don't have to actually press the left mouse and I can just wave around with my cursor and spam those creep tumors. So this would look something like this. 
So this is much faster, as you can see, as what you would usually have to do when you select your creep tumors. You press C, you press left click, and you go for it. So it's a very interesting method that you can use for any ability. You can use that to uh, double bind, let's say, maybe the snipe ability for the ghosts, if you still want to use ghost snipes against any kind of Zerg unit. You can use that for warping in of a specific unit. If you want to play a very zealot heavy strategy and you want to make sure that you can warp in zealots from, let's say, 10, 12, 14, 15 gateways, you can do this as well. It also works with abilities like feedback. You can use it to drop seeker missiles. There are really no limits to this trick. It's something that's quite neat and really interesting to do. So uh, you might just want to try that out a little bit. Here, once again, just an example of how fast you can spread those creep tumors. And it really helps quite a lot. You don't have necessarily to use that for infested terrans or creep tumors. It's really just a matter of what you can imagine where it would be of some use to you. So I hope that this helped you a little bit and may result in one or two wins for you on ladder. That's it for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to upvote the video and I would always be happy if you would subscribe to the channel if you want to see additional content from me in the future.